Hello, uh, Colonel Hopkins. This is Tarek Malik from Space.com. How do you hear me today? Tarek, I hear you loud and clear. It's great talking with you. Great. Well, well thank, thank you, Colonel. Uh, this is uh, obviously uh, Colonel Mike Hopkins, a uh, NASA astronaut, launching to the space station just uh, just in a few weeks now. Um, Colonel, you're just you know you're in the home stretch now. You're you're launching on your first mission. Um, I'm just you know wondering how the training has gone. What's your feeling now, being weeks away from launch? Yeah, the training I think is, has gone very well. It's been a two and a half year training program, and uh, kind of cool. Uh, uh, we ended up this past week with some exams uh, here in Russia and Star City on both the Russian segment and the Soyuz vehicles. Uh, we still have a little bit of training to do once we head down to Baikonur. Some fit checks on the the real vehicle itself. Uh, so that's all. Uh, it's all, of course it's very exciting. It's uh, it's hard to believe that this moment has has actually arrived. You know, the two and a half year program can seem long, but it's it's sure gone quick. And you're one of NASA's newer newer astronauts, the 2009 class. Uh, is there one thing you're looking forward to the most when you get up into space to to turn back and look at Earth for the uh, for for the first time? Yeah, well, certainly that in itself is is probably one of the things that I think most uh, astronauts are are looking forward to is just to to see the the Earth from that vantage point and all its all its beauty, all its glory. Um, I'm certainly uh, very honored, and very uh, feel very lucky to be the the first out of my class to to get to launch into space. But uh, I think I think it's very exciting for for my classmates as well because uh, this is kind of the start of of uh, our time. Um, and so I, I look forward to watching the rest of my classmates in the future launch to space as well. That's great. Now, one thing I, I have to ask, you were captain of your college football team, and you want folks on the ground to train like an astronaut when you're in space. Um, you know, what, what is that passion for fitness, and, and how do you think it will help you uh, both in space and when you get back on the ground? Well, you know, like you said, uh, fitness has been something I've been very passionate about my whole life. Uh, it's it's just been a, a a part of my my daily routine, if you will. And so I'm hoping that I can encourage kids, uh, even adults, uh, people of all ages, to get out there and exercise. And at the same time, if we can uh, pique their interest in space flight as well, I think that's a the double bonus there. And uh, so. Uh, you know, it's very important for us up in space, though, because we we do have uh, things like muscle loss, bone loss that happen to us while we're in microgravity. And so being physically fit before we go and then maintaining that as best we can while we're in orbit is critical for those early days once we, we land. That's great. You know, uh, we asked our, our Space.com readers uh, if they had some questions for you um, uh, and that we were, mm -hmm. were going to be talking with you. And one of them, Maya Ward, wants to know if there's one thing you can't take with you. Uh, into space that you really, really want to, and, uh, and why can't you have it? Uh, well, one of the things that uh, we won't have up in space, uh, for example, is a shower. Um, it's just, <laughs> it's a little hard to, um, it's a little hard to make that work up there, and so it's certainly one of those things that uh, that I'm going to miss, but, um, you know, it's, it's you, you get used to it, I think, and uh, it'll certainly be a welcome thing when I land. That's great. Well, you know, I, I did want to ask, you know, what your what your family uh, is thinking now that you're on your first launch into space, and is there one thing, one highlight of the mission uh, that you think will resonate with the people on on Earth uh, when they see those photos? Oh, wow. Uh, so, you know, my family is very excited. Uh, I think there's a little bit of nervousness, and I think a little bit of surrealness for them. And fortunately, most of them, or a lot of my family, is going to get the opportunity to come to. Uh, Baikonur for the launch and, and get to experience that. So I, I think uh, for me that's that's very exciting, very important. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very happy that they're going to be able to share in that whole experience. And uh, let's see, I guess the other part of the question was, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot that. Can you repeat it? If, if there's one image you expect from, um, uh, from the mission to resonate with folks on the Earth, and then that'll be it for me. Thank you. Okay, Tarek. Yeah, um, you, you know, there's there's Guys, there's so many different things that are going to be happening during this this increment. Whether it's uh, whether it's going to be the very science that we're going to be doing, or um, the different vehicles we're going to have uh, SpaceX, SpaceX and Cygnus uh, resupply vehicles that should be coming up. But probably the biggest thing is we're going to have the torch that's going to come on board in uh, early November, and I think that'll certainly resonate with people. Well, thank you, Colonel. We're, we're just about out of time. I really appreciate you having some time in the last minute's training um, to talk with us. And uh, safe launch and safe landings. Thanks, Tarek. It was great talking with you.